It's, it's such a important perspective to have in life because it'll give you hope when things do get tough. It'll give you hope when obstacles do get in the way because it'll give you the perspective that this is an opportunity because that's really what every obstacle is. is it's, an, it's an opportunity that should be embraced as such so that you know, hey, something's going on right now. This is difficult. This is, a, this is a struggle to get through this. How can I grow through this? How can I get better so that I can face this next time and get through it much quicker? How can I use this to strengthen me as a person? How can I use this uh, to better my skills in this area where I'm being, um, um, where I'm finding this obstacle? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! <laughs> All right. I am flying solo today, the lone wolf on this podcast. We'll be back with Joseph next week, but this is episode 104 of the Sales Wolves podcast. And uh, today's not going to be a long one, uh, so pay attention closely as we are going to discuss how to level up. And we're going to use some incredible alliteration, if I do say so myself. First point in how to level up is to level up, you have to listen up. And what do I mean by listen up? Not that there is such thing as listening down, but I like the fact that it's listening up because it's all about auditing your thoughts. It's about realizing how much negativity we're allowing into our lives, allowing into our brain, allowing into our day, and eliminating those, and then replacing them with positive influences. That's what I mean by listen up. We wanna have more uplifting things coming in than things that are dragging you down. So what does that look like uh, practically? Things like watching the news, uh, the different types of content that you're feeding yourself with on a daily basis on social media. Is it negative? Is it full of people that are complaining? Is it full of um, bad things going on that are out of your control? Uh, just eliminate them. And then what do you replace those with? The positive influencers out there, the positive messages, the positive videos, the people that are out there showing you what it looks like uh, to succeed. There's so much of it out there. That's the incredible thing about uh, this thing called the internet and social media and podcasts is that you have so much to choose from uh, to get positive information on a daily basis. So use it, but avoid negativity at all costs. Avoid negative people at all costs. There may be people that are in your inner circle that just need to be removed and avoided. And you will become a more positive person because of it. The next point to level up, you have to let go. And it's really let go of your past. Let go of the opinions of others. Let go of your insecurities. In order to get to the next level, you're going to have to let go of all those things that are holding you back from succeeding. So what are some of those things? So your past, your past failures. I could sit here for the next hour and I could list out in detail all of the failures that I've had in my life. But if I hold on to those failures, then I will never have the successes. So you have to just let go of them. Letting go of the opinions of others. You will never ever be able to stop others from having opinions about you, about what you're doing, about where you're going. But you have to come to the realization that those opinions are just that, they're opinions. And I've yet to have someone's opinions pay my bills, so I quit paying attention to them. And what you'll find is as you begin to level up, you're gonna have more opinions from others. People will start thinking that it's their obligation to bring these opinions to you. 
you just have to block it out. You just have to let go of others' opinions. You're never gonna, um, you're never gonna not care completely, but you cannot let the opinions of others affect what you're doing on a daily basis if you wanna level up. And then lastly, let go of your insecurities. We all have those things about us that we don't want the world to see. We all have those things about us that we feel are weaknesses, that we feel are um, areas that could be exposed. You just have to be you and understand that those insecurities, those weaknesses are what make you you. And those are what make you an individual and they're what make you unique. They're what make you different. And you have to celebrate those. Like I love those things about me. Uh, I love those insecurities that I have and I talk about them often because it's me. And I wanna be real and I wanna be transparent. In order for me to get to the next level, I have to be willing to let go of those things that cause me to be insecure. Third point, to level up, you have to live for today. If you focus all of your energy on the future, it leads to anxiety. It makes you anxious because you're always thinking about what's coming, which you can't control. On the flip side, if you're someone that focuses all their energy on the past, that leads to depression. It makes you depressed because you're thinking about things that have already happened that you can't know, you cannot um, change. They've already happened. So again, if you're thinking in the future, it causes anxiety. If you think in the past, it causes depression. So you have to live in today. And you have to focus on right now. Like not this year, you know, in 2019, I'm going to crush it. Not this quarter, you know, this quarter is going to be my best quarter yet. Not this month. February is going to be a new month. You literally have to focus on this very second. Because until you do, you will either be one of those two. You'll be someone that's looking to the future at what's to come or someone that's looking to the past and dwelling on what happened and you'll never truly be present in the moment. And in order to level up, you have to live in the moment and live for today. Fourth point, to level up, you have to leverage your strengths. It's so focused, it's, it's so important to focus on your strengths and that's what self-awareness is all about is number one, being aware of what they are. Like, what are my strengths? What are those things that I'm gifted at? What are those things that I do best? What are those things that I do better than others? The other side of that coin is you'll get to know your weaknesses. You'll get to know those areas that aren't your strengths. You'll get to know those areas that you struggle with. The key is to create an environment that enables you to leverage your strengths, to create an environment that enables you to capitalize on your gifts. And an environment that doesn't give you even the time or space to dwell on your weaknesses because it eliminates them. That was my focus for last year, was really creating an infrastructure that I could do what I feel like I was born to do, that I was gifted to do, uh, as much as possible. That the majority of my day was spent doing what I felt I was gifted at and what I felt was my strengths. Have you done that? If you took an audit of your day today, how much time and a percentage, what percentage of your time do you feel you were operating out of your strengths? And what percentage of time were you just going through the motions and doing things that, that just had to be done? And I say had to be done loosely, had to be done because that's the environment that you created, not had to be done in the long-term scheme of leveling up. So what do you do best? Do that. More and more and more and more and fill your days with more of that, what you do best. Last point, and the last way to level up is to level up, you have to look at each obstacle as an opportunity to grow. I just did a post uh, the other day. It said you grow through what you go through. And it's, it's such an important perspective to have in life because it'll give you hope when things do get tough. It'll give you hope when obstacles do get in the way. 
because it'll give you the perspective that this is an opportunity. Because that's really what every, uh, what every obstacle is, is it's an, it's an opportunity that should be embraced as such. So that you know, hey, something's going on right now. This is difficult. This is a, this is a struggle to get through this. How can I grow through this? How can I get better so that I can face this next time and get through it much quicker? How can I use this to strengthen me as a person? How can I use this uh, to better my skills in this area where I'm being, um, um, where I'm finding this obstacle, where I'm finding this roadblock? Uh, how can I get through it next time quicker? So to look at that as, as an obstacle and to be grateful, or as a uh, opportunity and be grateful for it. Because if the only way you can grow is by going through obstacles, then when obstacles arise, you have to say, thank you. Like, I'm grateful this is happening because now I can grow again. No growth ever happens when life is easy. It's only when life is difficult. It's only when things get uncomfortable that growth happens. And you'll learn this over time by going through it. But if you can learn it on the front end, how much more can you grow through those stages of life. Like now the way I look at, at obstacles, it's, it's almost as though like I, I want obstacles to come. Like I want there to be difficulty uh, because it gives me the opportunity to become a better person, to become a bigger person, to become a smarter person, to become a more skilled person um, that one day I feel like there's gonna have to be something absolutely catastrophic to be able to even get my attention because I've gone through so many difficult things, I've gone through so many obstacles, I've fought through so many different trials that I have grown into this person at that point that I would be. So again, to recap, in order to level up, you have to listen up. And that's all about auditing your thoughts, avoiding negativity, and bringing in new positive influences in your life. To level up, you have to let go. That's let go of your past, let go of the opinions of others, let go of those insecurities. To level up, you have to live for today. So quit focusing on the future. It's making you anxious. Quit focusing on the past. It's making you depressed. Focus on this very second. To level up, you have to lever uh, leverage your strengths. So figure out what those strengths are and then create an environment that allows you to operate out of those strengths. And lastly, to level up, you have to look at each obstacle as an opportunity to grow. Appreciate you guys joining us on this episode, episode 104 of the Sales Wolves podcast. Again, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow. We'll see you next time.